Hey everybody, it's Shelby here at Steps on Broadway, and um, I just finished teaching classes, so I'm gonna try to film a quick video before I get out of here. So, um, I wanted to teach you guys step three of Opus because I believe that it is the most difficult step. There's another couple hard steps in there, but it's the most difficult full four set of eight, eight bar chunk in the entire, um, dance in my opinion and so I thought this would be a good one to film for you whether you know all of Opus or not. So if you are struggling with it, you've got um, sort of a tool to come back to and work on. So this is very advanced, so I'm going to teach it rather fast because I do not want this video to be a million years long. Um, so just let's get going on it and see how we do. Let's get started. Okay, so we start with a leap onto the left foot and we do a three sound rip that ends in a heel on our left foot. We go dig heel. So it starts. One, two, three, five, six. Here we go. From there, we go rush. And that leap is the same as the leap we had just done on the left, but on the right foot to start the same thing on the left. So you have leap, rip, dig heel, rush, leap, rip, dig heel, rush, leap. You're going to do it again. To the diagonal. When you do the brush leap the third time, you're ready to do a rip again. But instead of going back to the diagonal, you're gonna go straight to the front. This is the weirdest part of this entire combination. Instead of brush crossing like you tend to do for a rhythm turn, you're going to just cross your foot and step down. That is the weirdest part of this combination. I guarantee you, you're going to want to brush but you can't. From here, we're going to do a rhythm turn. Heel, heel, ball. Don't do the second ball, and you're gonna finish with big brush ball change. So listen to this one. And I like to get my body back to the front for the dig, because that keeps my rotation, no matter how fast I'm going, in the right spot at the right time. So I always try to dig to the front. So whip around. Dig. So the whole rotation sounds like this. actually very complicated rhythmically. We're actually in triplets, but with some double time triplets thrown in there, and um, it makes it really complicated. So we've got a one, a two. So instead of a one and a two, that and is sort of replaced with three sounds, which is why it's so fast. A one, a two. And then we go a three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven, and a eight. And then we do that same exact thing again. A one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Third time starts the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, three, six. You've got to know that those get those faster riff sounds. So the whole thing, a little bit under tempo. Well, a lot under tempo because if you know Opus, you know it's fast. Five, six, seven.
So that was what I referred to as step three of Opus. A big shout out to Sarah Reich because she is the person who taught me Opus in the first place. And I now teach it all over. I taught it with her and Harold often. And um, this is one of the most fun steps, but also the most challenging, particularly to get everyone to spin together. Um, so I hope that this helped you. And uh, if you want more of Opus, let me know. If you want some other pieces of rep, let me know that as well. And um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.